Tom, to my CF board members. Um, I, I feel um, I need to answer Dr. Fonseca's question about whether I'm ready to play Mr. Busiaga in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and after hearing all the testimony, I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> I mean, that's close to sainthood. You were uh, related. I'm not looking at each other. Yeah. Couldn't possibly be a heck of a stretch for me if you know some of the characters I've played. Um, um, the other thing I was going to share with you, if you don't mind, I'd like to just give you a little short story about why I'm here. Um, I have been married to the same woman uh, for 29 years, which in Hollywood qualifies as 90 years of marriage. Um, I am blessed with two children. My firstborn was an academic rock star. Uh, I went to pick him up in kindergarten, and he um, wasn't there. I asked where he was. He says he's reading with the second graders. So then my wife and I scrambled to find the right school for him so he could continue to be challenged, and he could work and learn at the pace that he wanted to work and learn at. Now, um, my daughter is about four years younger, and she was the complete opposite. My son was a left brain monster, and my daughter was born with a learning disability. She, except that she, uh, God, uh, blessed her with other gifts. And I'm just going to give you a quick, um, you've never heard this, Dr. Fonseca, but I'm going to give you, um, this is something she sang for me, recorded when I was, well, I won't tell you how old I was, but she was 16. And uh, as a birthday present. And this is the daughter who was born to me at 16. And let me just give you quickly um, a quick anecdote. When she was four, we were had a family reunion, and little children decided to just put on a little concert. And so we had children coming up and saying, um, singing, you know, Michael Row, your boat ashore, hallelujah. They sang Itsy Bitsy Spider, went out the water spout. My daughter got up on the couch and started singing. You can't get a man with a gun. He, she did the entire song from Annie Get Your Gun. We didn't even know she knew it. So we knew at four, four years old, they were a different kind of child, much different from our son. Let me just give you a sample of what she sounded like at 16. She's 23 now. To us, my wife and I, who were actors, and the fact that we had the resources, we nurtured this talent since she was four. So by the time she got to high school, she was doing 30 hours of dance training, professional dance training. She was doing work with a singing teacher for her voice. She was doing, you know, musical theater every afternoon in New York City because I was there doing Ugly Betty. So here's the deal: um, if it wasn't for us, that talent might have been lost. She apply for the six top conservatories of musical theater in the country. She got into five, four of them, I mean three of them offered her a scholarship. She just graduated, she already has an agent, she um, has done three off-Broadway shows, you know, and she just got her equity card, her reunion card, as a young, I didn't even get my equity card until I was much older. She's at 23, she's a union member, the same as me. So why am I telling you the story? Because there's a reason why I'm here. I came to this district, met some of the board members, introduced to you by uh, Dr. Velasquez. Then I was introduced to Dr. Fonseca, and I brought a program called Language and Play. Um, and we didn't seem to quite, it didn't seem to quite fit the district. And at the time, I started to kind of pick Dr. Fonseca's brain as to what he wanted for the children here. And we came up with this idea of an after-school musical theater program. And it was such an epiphany for me because it's exactly how I feel about my daughter. That if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be doing what she's doing now. Because when she auditioned for those conservatories, she was the only Latina audition. And we auditioned, and I took her everywhere. I took her to Boston, I took her to Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, I took her to Michigan, I, because I could afford it. And, and, and I realized that the only way we're going to equalize the playing field is to expose our Latino children, you know, to theater, the musical theater, and let them not just 
enjoy it, but practice it, try it, you know? Um, you'll be surprised how many amazingly talented kids you have in your district, however small it is, you know? And, and it's a program like this that's not for everybody in the sense that not everybody's going to be the next Isabel Blana or Jennifer Lopez, you know? But it, it will expose them to the arts so that when they're older and can't afford it, they can go to the musicals uh, that are available in this country. Most of our children can't afford it, have never been, don't even know it exists. And it's an experience because it is highly language driven, you know? Uh, and uh, that's what we're hoping, that through this program, they will be, you know, challenged, they'll be engaged, and someone mentioned the common core. You know, there will be collaborative development, there'll be, there'll be creativity involved, there will be communication skills that will be developed. And I, I, I think there's no better way to spend your afternoon, you know, uh, than to have this kind of introduction to the musical theater, which is the one of the greatest contributions that this country has made to world-class art. You know, it is our genre, belongs to us, and we've exported it all over the world. So when when Dr. Fonseca mentioned that he was looking for something like that, I jumped at the opportunity to provide this because. Uh, I said this is the way to equalize the playing field for our children so that they have economic and geographical access to the performing arts at their school. So they don't have to drive like I did, you know, with, and my wife did to and pay to get these things for our children. So will be here available to them. I'm very excited about uh, Broadway Bound because I believe that uh, we have identified some very talented dancers, singers, actors who are professionals, who are willing to come to the schools and perform, you know, uh, for the children, because we believe in the model with your children and with their talents and with their uh, development by approving uh, this, this proposal, and I'm open to any questions. I have one request, Mr. Plana. After the, uh, the, uh, the meeting, I'd like to take a picture with you. <laughs>